guys and welcome back to Sew Granny and Sew. Uh, so today we are going to work with our Charlie Brown fabric and as you can see I did make the four patch with that already. Brown is so cute on this. So this one is really simple. Uh, this disappearing four patch. Uh, if you haven't checked out the other two videos we do have this one here and this one here. Be sure to check those ones out. Uh, this is the third uh, video in the series. So all we're going to do with this this one here is you're going to sew your four patch together. These are 10 by 10 blocks uh, once they're sewn together and trimmed down. Two of them this time because we're going to make a windmill. So I've got one done here already and I've already cut that one uh, just as we're cutting this one here. Now I have a directional fabric in mind. If you're making them with just a couple toss fabrics such as that or even something different, I, I don't think you'd have to switch these around. But as you can see, I have... This in this corner of Charlie Brown and this corner on this one. And I unpurposely squished it on this one because when you turn it, it'll be in the same spot. But the fabric will be going a different direction. And that's because we're going to work our way around in the windmills. So I was trying to keep the fabric so it all goes upright. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a try. So we're just going to go ahead and cut from corner to corner there. Uh, that's all I'm doing is lining up the ruler with both corners. And through the middle. And I just cut it down the center. So I don't know how the heat is everywhere else today. Uh, we were at between 105 and 110 heat index today, uh, which is really uncommon in Minnesota. Uh, so that, that was a little rough. I feel sorry for those who had to work outside today. That was a tough one. My cat, of course, uh, if you watch some of the other videos, you've probably seen him by now. He's a part Maine Coon, so he's got a lot of fur. Uh, he won't, he's not even wanting out today. Uh, he usually goes outside and he lays underneath the front porch to stay cool. <laughs> uh, maybe explores the rose bush or something while he's out there. Uh, and then right back in, of course. Uh, or he'll just lounge underneath the, the porch otherwise. But yeah, he, he wasn't much of a fan of going outside today so he didn't he didn't venture out that way okay so i'm trying to put it back out. okay so now we have that one is cut there and this one is cut here so all we're gonna do is switch around these two and these two And then we have two windmills. We'll throw those together. Of course, you'll just flip that over. Line up your points there with your seams. Throw a quarter inch seam. Do the same with that side. Gonna throw a quarter inch seam there, quarter inch seam there. Up, iron up flat, and then I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I have the triangles sewn together on both sets here. Uh, and I wanted to show you something quick. When you hit this pot right here, you may or may not have this hanging off the end there. And that's okay to snip that off because that's just going to get, was part of the seam. So that's not a big deal. And you'll notice too that you have a little above where, where you pointed your square is there. And that's good. That's what you want because that will go away when you do that quarter inch seam allowance between the two. Is when you are working with this, uh, your triangles are now on bias. So you want to be careful and not stretch your fabric. Uh, I find it easiest when you're sewing to sew from this end and work your way towards towards this thick and seam uh, so it doesn't pull on the fabric and you may find that too once you start doing it so I'm going to go ahead and I'll get these ironed flat and then I'll meet you back here and show you how we pin them together. I those ironed uh, flat. Um, now I called it ironing and I want to correct that. I did not iron it as in moving my iron. I pressed it so you just open your seam lay that flat and hold your iron on that and go like that so you're not stretching your bias so I did want to correct that. So now we're going to put our uh, triangles together here to form the windmill. So we're just going to take a pin and we're going to poke it through where that point is between the two. We're going to poke that through and if you turn it that way you can see on the stitching, whoops, I'm going to get, make sure you can see that. On that stitching right there at that corner, it goes that way and then that way. You want it right through that very tip of that. I'm going to put it on this one. We're going to poke it through the same exact way, right through that very tip. 
And then when they go together, they will line up. And we'll just bring that down and pin that. And then we'll pin both corners on that. We will do the same with this. And we will put a quarter inch seam all the way along there. Uh, go to the iron once again. Press that flat. And then I'll bring it back here and show you how to square that up. Okay, so as you can see, we have them both iron, uh, sewn together and ironed flat now. Um, on the back, I ironed mine open, my final seam. Uh, but this is really thick in that center piece always. Um, some people, like, loosen the stitch there and swirl them and all that stuff. I tried it one time, uh, looked it up and tried it. Mine didn't feel any thinner, so I just continue to do it this way. Uh, and it seems, I mean, there's a little bit of a bunch there, but if you're not going to sew, uh, you know, with a long arm or something over top of that, you'd be fine. Um, so with this with this quilt, I think I'm going to do stitch in the ditch around the square, so I think I'll be fine with that. So that is what it'll look like. We do need to get the dog ears off, which is these little extra pieces. Uh, once you get done sewing, you're going to have those little extra pieces. But we're going to trim our blocks up to eight and a half anyways. So we can just go ahead and take those dog ears off when we're doing that. So once again, we're just going to use the seven and the 15 and a half line. So 15 and a half, seven. Seven. Count twice and cut once. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half. Yeah, seven and fifteen and a half is what we need it to be. These turned out a little bit larger, I suppose, because we we didn't really do no uh little vertical and horizontal seams like we did on the other ones as much. And I'm just gonna keep turning it that way. It's all, all your dog ears are gone now. We, by eight and a half inch square. So we'll end up with two of those out of that. So it's a two for one on this one. That's the only Charlie Brown we'll be doing. And these were our two different Mickey Mouses. So next time we are going to continue on with Scooby-Doo. Uh, because we'll be doing a couple different style of block, uh, disappearing four patches again, along with Scooby-Doo fabric. I hope you have found this video useful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up as that helps our channel grow. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that because we'd love to have you here at Soul Grenade Thanks for viewing all. Have a good day. Bye.